Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Duncan and I'm a travel advisor specializing in Disney destinations. We just got done on our sailing on the Disney Magic out of Galveston, Texas a couple weeks ago and I'm showing every day um, in a separate video so you can see what those days look like. This is going to be day two of our trip. I will be honest and say that I got seasick on our second day. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that, um, but there was some fun had on day two. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you could see all of the upcoming videos on our sailing on the Disney Cruise Line because it was a five night sailing. Sit back, relax, and enjoy day two on our sailing on the Disney Magic. We started off our day at the Princess Gathering. This is a special ticketed event. There is no additional charge, but it does have to be pre-booked through your app or on the Disney Cruise Line website. The best thing about the Princess Gathering is that it's one line for at least three princesses. So if meeting characters is top of the list on your cruise, I highly recommend looking into booking the Princess Gathering. It is day two of our cruise. It's the first full day. It is a day at sea today. Um, the seas have been pretty rocky. I'll show you guys some video um, in a second. We have done the Princess Royal Gathering this morning. Um, we have done some trivia and now we are in the Soul Cat Lounge getting ready to do a Mickey drawing class. So I'll show you my drawing of Mickey when we're done. Um, but I'm also going to show you the seas because they've been pretty rocky. Um, we are sailing January 2024. Um, yesterday was very, very cold, but today it's warmed up a little bit, still kind of cool. For me, it's too cold to swim, um, but let's look at these oceans. The Learn to Draw classes are offered multiple times throughout the cruise and often offer different characters. You can check your Disney Cruise Line Navigator app to see what's being offered and what character you can draw. Today we're drawing Mickey Mouse. Stories. And then when I had a chance to visit Walt Disney World, I was now in the stories and thought, this is fantastic. How can I be part of this? And even more than working from other artists that speak to me and all of a sudden I'm charged back up again. It's like my batteries refill and How'd I do? Let me know in the comments. After we drew Mickey Mouse, I headed back to our stateroom and I was in there for a good four hours. I was able to get some medication from one of the shops on board and some C bands that helped me to feel better. I got some rest and I was excited because we had booked a mixology class for that evening. So keep watching to see the rest of our night on the Disney Magic. Okay, friends, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is our first day at sea and I have not been feeling great. Ocean sickness has definitely got me. I bought some products in um, one of the shops here. I have been sleeping a majority of the day after um, we drew Mickey Mouse. I've been sleeping. I was able to eat a cheeseburger for lunch, but I went back to sleep after that. We have a mixology class that we booked um, a while ago now. And so I'm gonna do my absolute best. We're heading in there in a couple minutes and I'm really excited, but I don't think that I'm gonna be able to drink too, too much. But I'm gonna show you what it is and what we're doing and I hope you enjoy. This mixology class was an additional charge of $50 per person and we had to pre-book it on the night of our onboard activities booking. Overall, I thought it was worth it. We were able to get multiple drinks and see how they were made. Sugar or the agave cup of the club, so there's a 
classic always. After our mixology class, it was time to head to the Walt Disney Theater for the showing of Tangled. If you enjoy trivia, the Disney Cruise Line is for you. On this night, we did 90s music trivia and almost won, but not quite. The second night in our rotational dining took us to Rapunzel's Royal Table. This is a dinner and a show as you celebrate Rapunzel's birthday. <laughs> For an appetizer, I got the ravioli filled with pulled beef and portobello mushrooms tossed in a red wine time reduction. I loved this dining experience because it was so interactive. Uh, copycat. So whatever we do, we want you to do with us. So we start off with a clack, clack, go. Clack, clack. Very good. The next thing we're going to do is add a stomp, stomp, go. Clack, clack, stomp, stomp. Very good. The next thing we will add is a quack, quack, go. Clack, clack, stomp, stomp, quack, quack. And then you finish it off with a nice, big, loud ruffian. For my soup, I got the potato cream soup with carrots, leeks, celery, and knockwurst. It was actually really good. If you didn't know, you can order multiple appetizers, salads, and even entrees on the Disney Cruise Line. This night, I ordered two entrees. I ordered the tangled pasta and the spinach, zucchini, eggplant, and ricotta filled potato crepes. No, no, no. If you miss the song, then the show proceeds without it. That is your fault. We're going to the bathroom. Well, are you going to be guys going on the show? This is like a two hour question. What do you think is going to Rapunzel's Royal Table was probably my favorite dining experience, thinking of food and entertainment put together.
As you can tell, I already have my pajamas on. Um, it is about 10.30, but we went to Rapunzel's Royal Table. Absolutely loved the show, loved the restaurant. Afterwards, we went to an adult-only game show. That was really fun. Um, but like I said earlier, I haven't been feeling the best today. I'm feeling better than I was earlier, but I wanted to come back to our stateroom and get some rest. Tomorrow is day three. It is our day at Cozumel. We do plan on getting off of the ship and seeing what adventures we can find. We do not have anything like set in stone planned excursions for Cozumel, but we think that it's gonna be a really fun day. That was day two of our sailing on the Disney Magic. We had so much fun, but it was just beginning. I was feeling much better after um, this day and the rest of the days I was feeling great. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you can see all of the upcoming videos on the Disney Cruise Line. If you are thinking about booking your own sailing on the Disney Cruise Line, send me an email at duncan at frontlightmetravel.com so that we can start chatting and see what would be the best ship and the best itinerary for you and your family. Make sure to follow me over on my other socials. I am on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I would love to see you over there so you can see some of the other content that I am putting out. As always, thank you for joining your friend Duncan and I'll see you real soon.